Hey guys, Omerko here, a self-taught web developer, and on my screen right now you can see a date picker component from Angular Material, and we will build this component in this video. Before we start, make sure to subscribe if web development is something that you are interested in. I am posting videos weekly, and all of those videos are related to web development, coding, and programming in general. Now, let's start. To start now, in my terminal I will first generate component, well, for my date picker. So to do that I will run command of ng, g for generate, c for component, and I will generate my component in components folder slash date picker. So once the component is generated, let's go into our source and then open up this app component.html file. Here, first of all, I will hide this component, well, chips component, from my last video. If you wish to check that, you will uh, have a link down in the description of this video as well. So here, after these chips, I will per first put the comment of date picker, and I will use app date picker, well, component that we just generated. So here, I will also put the end of date picker as a comment. So now, as with all material components, well, to use those, you must import a proper module. So open up your app.module.ts file, and here, first of all, let's move this date picker component that we just generated here to a top. And in this material components, I will import mat date picker module, and I will import that from at angular slash material slash date picker. Also make sure to pass this mat date picker module in your imports array, so we could use the component from it. Now date picker uses another module from material. Well, by that module date picker will be able to get specific dates and also work with date data. So next to this mat date picker module, I will import here mat native date module and I will import that from at angular slash material slash core. Also make sure to pass this mat native date module down below in your imports array. Now we can work on our date picker component. I will close both of these files and just open up my date picker HTML file. In this file I will create the div and I will use this div to style my date picker well to move it at least in the center of my screen. So I will need to add a style attribute to this div and I will style it with display of flex, justify content of center and also margin on a top side of 50 pixel. Now in this div we will create date picker component. Well we will use one from Angular Material. So here I will use first of all math form field as date picker mostly belongs to well some kind of form and to this mat form field i can also style its appearance and i will set it to be a fill form so it won't be outline or just the line below form it will be a fill one and inside now i could well create my date picker next to date picker for example i could create the label so here i will use mat label itself and i will set choose a date as a text for this label. Related to date picker now, that is not much than just a simple input field. So we can pass just a simple, uh, simple input field here. But next to this input field, we must pass math input for styling. So we could style it as a material component. Also, we won't need this type of text because we are not using a type of text here. So instead of that, we can bind the property of math date picker. And this here could be bind to some kind of variable. So I will create my own picker variable. This variable doesn't need to be created in our TypeScript file as it will only be in our markup. Now, next to this input, we can also create a math date picker toggle. And this toggle could, for example, accept mat suffix here as an attribute. And this here means that that calendar icon that will toggle our calendar itself will be on the right side of our input field. Next to this mat suffix, we can also bind property of for, and I will bind this to my picker as well. 
And the last thing here is to create that math date picker. So here create the element of math date picker and add a local variable here, here of picker, which means that both of our toggle and input fields by this picker are referencing our math date picker component. This here means that whichever data we set in our math date picker component, we will be able to uh, render it in our input component by this picker. And also we will be able to get that data from our toggle, from that calendar pop-up. Now, make sure to visit your local host where you should see a simple date picker component. And the component itself will say choose a date. With this, we are able to, well, enter a specific data or we can click on this toggle icon and, well, select specific date, like 2nd November of 2021. And here it is. Obviously, this calendar toggle that we, that we have is quite unique, well, in material design. If you would visit also documentation of date picker, there you will find much more examples. You can see examples of dates like from N2. But all of these examples are very, very similar, so there is no need to show those. Also, if you prefer, I can create a video with some additional examples as well. Now, this will be all for this video. If you liked what you saw, please click like and subscribe as I am posting a new content weekly. Also, if you wish to point something or you have any kind of questions, make sure to comment those down below. But this is it. Thank you once again and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.